Hi guys, Melissa here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about my newly revised The Theory of Five book. And some of you guys don't necessarily know the history of why The Theory of Five was even created. And to me, understanding the why of anything is really important. So when I first started to think about the theory of five, it wasn't because it was just this great concept that I had. It was because I had a problem and it was back in the mid eighties and I was running a fleet of mobile dog grooming units. And this is way before mobile dog grooming was even remotely cool. I was definitely a forerunner with that. But, you know, I had a team of groomers and stylists and we were kind of off in our own little island. And, you know, keep in mind, this is in the 80s. It was before the age of cell phones and we worked with two-way radios uh, because that was our only way to really communicate. And there wasn't a whole lot of good training for groomers out at that time. And so here I've got a whole fleet of mobile grooms, mobile uh, vans out there with groomers in them and no consistent training. So I'm having to do a lot of training to bring everybody onto the same page because when I've got a customer that was calling Four Paws Mobile Grooming, which was the name of my company back in the day, I wanted to be able to send a groomer to their doorstep that could offer very consistent styling um, within the entire team. So it didn't necessarily matter if we sent Anna or we sent Melissa or we sent Kim to the client's driveway that we could all groom somewhat similarly and the client could be satisfied with a number of different groomers and know that they were going to get a consistent result every single time they called my company to book an appointment. Well, in reality, that wasn't the case. Um, we had everybody was kind of off doing their own thing. I was doing at the time a lot of competition level grooming and I was working on my certification to get my master's status. And so I was really focused on the higher level of grooming. And my, my team, eh, not so much. You know, they were just interested in, in making a dollar and, and paying their bills. And they weren't as focused on the upper level of grooming. And so I really had to figure out a way to simplify the very complicated process of breed profile trimming and corrective grooming so that they could duplicate what I was doing out there in the field. And so that's really how the Theory of Five got started was it was a loose kind of a raw concept that I started to work on and work on. And over the years, um, I've really been able to fine tune it. And once I started introducing it, it started to simplify the entire grooming process. And my team was being able to create a very consistent result for my clients, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to bring unity to what we were doing as we service the customers. And the Theory of Five, you know, was able to do that utilizing pet grooming techniques and tools and so we were really working a lot with our clippers, with um, different lengths of blades um, and guard combs and minimizing the amount of hand scissoring that we were doing, um, really looking at anatomy closely and, and working on how to bring out the best features of the pet, and then looking at how to simplify that so that we could use it very easily and very simply. And so... Bottom line, the theory of five deals with, there are five different areas that we work with every single day. And within those five different areas, there are five things. So basically you're looking at five different types of jobs that we do every single day. And within that, there's five different body styles, five different head styles, five different um, ear styles, five different feet and leg styles, and five different tail styles. So it takes and it compartmentizes the grooming so that you know exactly what area you're talking about. And as I have developed the theory of five and it's become a, um, there's been clarity with the, with the whole concept, I have been able to apply it in so many different areas of working within uh, the professional pet grooming field. So 
one of the things that I love about it is not only is it really flexible, but it offers unique styling for each dog, not because the trims are different, but because the dogs are all a little bit different. Each pet is going to be unique and they're gonna have different physical um, size and shape. They're gonna have different coat textures. They're gonna be different colors. And so when you start combining all of those things together, you end up with a very unique trim for each and every dog. And like I said, you know, it takes the complicated method of grooming and simplifies it and refines it down to um, an application that is super easy to apply out in the field for each individual groomer to be very thorough with what they're doing, to give great direction. It's super easy to communicate with a client because now you have a system that you can talk with them and get a very consistent result over and over again. And it's also, it's really easy to teach it. That's the beauty of the theory of five. So over the years, you know, it hasn't stayed a very simple concept. It has certainly expanded and there's lots of different ways that we've been able to use it. I've been using this theory for well over 30 years. And, you know, every time that we apply it into a new category, a new way, it seems to work really well for us. So, you know, whether it's just giving grooming direction or whether it's for mobile, um, it works. In a salon setting, it works. If you're dealing with um, training students, it works. When you're communicating with customers, it works. Over and over again, the theory of five is an uh, application that you can use in many, many different ways. So those are just some of the things that I really love about the theory of five. The book is simple. I kind of, you know, notes from the grooming table, that is the big kind of the grooming Bible uh, is what a lot of people call it. And I think of theory of five as just the simple book that you can sit down, you can pick up. There's lots of images in there. There's drawings, there's photographs. There's not a whole lot of reading involved. And so you can just pick it up and get through it really quickly. So it's very simple to understand, which kind of goes along with the whole concept of simplifying the complicated. That's exactly what I've been able to do in the Theory of Five. And just as notes from the grooming table went through um, a, a revision a few years ago, we did the same exact thing with the Theory of Five. And so we have updated it with some new images. We've um, added some new tools that maybe, you know, when I first wrote the book, they weren't available to us. And now they are, and they're just tools that we work with all the time. We've even added a few new breeds into um, the, the book and changed the front cover. And heavens, one of the most popular breeds that we're all dealing with every single day is the doodle. So we show how to utilize the theory of five and apply it to a mixed breed, a doodle type dog, and the doodle even made the front cover of the newly revised theory of five. So if you haven't seen the book, definitely check it out. There's going to be links down below. So check it out.